Hey, what's going on? This is Bobbles. This is Ricky. And this is Julian. And you're watching the whole podcast. That's whole. Right w, just H-O-L-E, not a whole, you know. Whole. Just fix up a drink and watch it, Bob, so you're confusing people. Yeah, it's good. If you don't like it, you can fuck off. Welcome to the Hall. I am Rob Spranz. And I'm Lori Levine. And boy, am I excited. Mm -hmm. Live from the Sunnyvale Trailer Park, we've got Ricky and Julian from the Trailer Park Boys. And I know Bubbles is going to be joining us soon. Welcome, guys. How's it going? Hey, how's it going, guys? Great to be here. Oh, man, I'm so excited. So excited to talk to you guys. I know it's uh, your 20th anniversary since um, you had some documentaries following you guys around. You became a household name, and uh, I'm just so happy for you guys. And here's Bubbles, too. Oh, what? <laughs> hey, Bubbles. There he is. Bubbles, man, what are you doing? I got stopped, Julian. I was driving my go-kart home, and I almost got run over. Oh, no. Uh, that. I thought Are you, you got okay? your, your bird stuck in the, tw- in the tub again. Like you did the yeah, get your week. shit together, man. Yeah, no, man. I didn't get my bird yeah. stuck anywhere. I was driving my go-kart home. There was a guy in a big truck. He didn't see me. Almost drove right over top of me. <laughs> I caused a big accident right on the bridge. you got to <laughs> get lights on that thing, Bubs. you got to get some lights on it. Well, I was signaling with my arms. arms. Don't, don't you have any kind of you, you, no flashes, nothing? Uh, on the go-kart? No, I use the old-fashioned hand signals. Okay. You know? Well, I'm glad you're okay, and I'm glad you make it, Bubbles, because we were just talking about that it's the 20th anniversary for you guys, uh, and we're so excited. But I kind of had some questions about how you guys are going to celebrate this 20th anniversary. Are you? Do you buy gifts for each other? Uh, what, what do you guys do? You're going to go out and just get banged up? What's the plan? Uh, it's not going to be gifts, probably, unless you want to get me something, guys. I'm I'm all for it. <laughs> I'm not you gonna... guys gifts. Oh, awesome! Thanks, man. We're probably going to like a big gifts? bonfire, big bonfire, lots of booze, lots of weed, and music, and we'll just celebrate like we do every weekend. It's kind of like <laughs> kind of like a 54 week party. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> well, it's 52 weeks, Ricky, in the year. 54 so in a leap year. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's how it works, but that's fine. Oh, you know man. what? It, your calendar is your calendar. It's all good. We're not going to stop you from that. <laughs> but so did, so much has changed for you guys, but at, at the same time, it remains the same. I'm fascinated how you all remain down to earth, and I almost mean that literally, in the fact that you've become successful, and yet still you, you still live at the trailer park. You haven't moved on from there, I, and I know that um, – you know, I know Ricky. You're not great with managing money, so much so. But at the same time, I'm I'm very surprised that you just stay to your roots and stay in the park. It's just a good place to live. People are easy going, and you know we don't really need that much to to be happy there. And yeah, it's just a great place to grow up and raise a family. So what's I changed mean, now? Go ahead. I'm just saying, like money stresses people out. Like money turns people crazy, right? So I mean, and bills and. Buying fancy cars and two thousand dollars suits and stuff. like, and not, we don't need that stuff. You know, mm-hmm. we're we're pretty happy with what we have. As long as we party every weekend or day, sometimes you know, we're happy. <laughs> but Julian, you're I mean, you're an entrepreneur though, so you're always trying to 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 build businesses and and, and make make money on that. Do you yeah. ever you ever try to go on like uh, I know you have um, the dragons over there or a Shark Tank here? You ever try to bring any of your ideas or your concepts over there? Yeah, I mean yeah. I do watch those shows. I think those shows are great for people that are like me that are entrepreneurs because a lot of people screw up when they become business people and they end up tanking. You know, I've mm-hmm. had some businesses that work, some that have. I've been a millionaire for well, we were all millionaires for what ten minutes. That's- <laughs> 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 Pretty so, exciting. Uh, we've done well. We've done well. We but went on one of those shows. We went on one, and I brought kitty shakes on. I was pitching kitty shakes, and Julian hijacked my idea and turned it into muscle rum. <laughs> well, that is a great idea. Everybody needs a bit of protein in their life and booze. Now I've got I've got two kitties here to show you later, Bubbles. I don't want to get you too excited too soon, but I brought the kitties as well. There's one behind me and there's one over here, and I'll show you in a little bit. Decent. Um, uh, kitties, I got two. Decent. Here, here's one. 
Don't get a kitty boner, bubs. <laughs> this is a big oh, oh yeah, oh, man, that's, that's stromboli. That's a nice kitty. Fantastic looking kitty. That's a big son of a whore. That is a <laughs> So, gorgeous kitty that Dang. is a big son of a whore <laughs> so I, I also to... dress like uh god rest his soul mr Leahy for the for this uh, guys well done Dude. nice oh yeah she wears it a lot scary. better you look good you, you look, look a lot good. better than mr Leahy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah big time so I, w- I would like to know what you guys think is different about your lives now. Do you, if, Ricky, do you have uh, people trying to bang you every two minutes now because you're because you're a star? Like, how does no. how does life change for you? <laughs> no, no I, I wish that was the case, but uh, Julian, Julian, no, just, good. it's mostly firefighters and stuff that make calendars. A lot, a lot of people give me free <laughs> free dope, which is cool. They, everybody wants me to try their dope to see how good it is. So. I get a lot of free dope, which is kind of nice. That's kind of cool. But uh, yeah. I mean, you got to think that the other perk would have been getting some women. That's a, that's unfortunate. Are there women outside of the single wide? There's a few, but a lot of the women that are that are attracted to me are pretty greasy. <laughs> it's, you know what? It's mostly drunk dudes that just won't leave us alone. You, we go in public. There's drunk dudes that are like all over us and mauling us and Want to party and stuff? Or, or oh, that's mostly beer. just you that happens to, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> but Bubs has been a bit of a ladies' man. Yeah, Bubs. Tell no, us about your ladies. No. no, I don't. I don't do that. Nor do I talk about it. Oh, I don't. You know, the ladies don't dig me as much as the. I don't have the muscles that Julian has. Right? That's what ladies want to see: muscles. Oh, oh ladies man. like ladies like shopping carts. That's right, and they like braids. Uh, I mean, if that's the case, then I could, you know, show you hundreds of shopping carts. <laughs> yeah, but, but Bubbles, you have the brains, and the brains goes a long way. Well, I try to do stuff, you know, brainy like, but it's hard to when you got these two with you. <laughs> you know, Ricky just Ricky, you know, makes you dumber just being around him, I find. What is that don't supposed include, to mean? Yeah, don't include me into this bullshit, Bubs. What are you talking well, about? Well, I just mean sometimes, you know, I'm feeling pretty smart, and then Ricky comes in and, you know, says something out of the blue, and it just throws such a wrench into my gears, my thinking gears, I can't yeah. even think straight. That's right, you said good Ricky. Ideas. Not me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not him. No, that's me you're not as bad. Well, how did you guys? Did any of you guys get COVID? No, oh, man. Fuck no, that. We're doing good. good. I don't Maybe really I know. In the woods for a little while. Oh, to get away from everybody? Yeah, he was in the woods for how long? Two months? Three months? I was in the woods for a while, and I did. I did have a bunch of fevers and sore throats and stuff, but it could have been just anything. <laughs> it was a hangover. Ricky, that's because you're eating. Hangover. That's because you're eating bark and squirrels. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't eat the were... squirrels. Is that what you were cooking when you were there? A couple ducks. <laughs> Just to avoid everybody? He ate a lot of wildlife. Well, Bubs told me if I was around anybody, I was going to die. So he said because I smoked so much that I was at risk. So I tried to play it safe and do my thing. He does have a good point. That but then I started going a little nuts, and the animals started talking to me, and it was time to come home. <laughs> That's because of the hash instead of just the weed. Yeah, man. Animals been, don't yeah. fucking talk to you, Rick. I keep telling you that. Animals After don't talk. After a while, you, you can communicate with the animals. That's There's something to that because I can communicate I with the kitties. Mm-hmm. That's true. I've seen Bubbles communicate with the kitties. It's, a, it's an uns- unspoken language for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys also, and this is very cool, got your own comic book, which I thought was what? super cool. What are you yeah, talking right. about? You Where didn't did that come from, Julian? Yeah, yes. Julian. Some, I said something up, okay? We've got comic oh, books. Here we go again. Oh, uh, fuck. Be... Did I mess it up? There... Rob, uh, you fucked it up. Yeah, you can't get... Thanks, Rob. Thank you for fucking this up. I was going to talk to you guys Julian. Like, once we got some money coming in. It takes time oh, for that. Well, you that made a deal enough. where you're getting paid to be on a comic book and me and Ricky well, are. Should there be a contract or something? I do. I've got the contract. It's all figured out. You guys are going to get, like, back-end stuff. Don't you worry, were trying bro. not even to tell us. Thank God Rob gonna, told us. I was going to tell you fucking Halloween, okay? It's going to be the big Halloween surprise. Bullshit. 
that Rob so fucked want... up. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Hey, Appreciate Julie, that. I didn't fucking know. I'm trying to promote. What do you want from me? <laughs> All right, okay. You can do it. It's, it's done now. Well, for well, what it's Can you show it to us again? I want to see that comic well, book. Well, here, here's, here's what you guys look like in the comic book. Yeah. <laughs> I look, right. pretty, I look, I look pretty, pretty good. good. Julian looks yeah. like a dick. I got a, I got <laughs> a look like a dick. How did that happen? That I got a great big good. mouth like Doug Henning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. Look Ricky's got the gold chain. Yeah, that's tight. I don't think they did your glasses justice, Bubbles. No, they're, they're does, little... does Julian have a center pair? Yeah, I don't know what does, the actually. fuck that is, man. I just, who do I look like there? Uh, you look like you're taking a shit. You know what? I look like the guy on Tool Time, that show with... Uh, that's right. What's his face? Tim Allen. Uh, yeah, I look like the other guy. Yeah. A little the bit. other guy. A little bit. I'm sorry I, I blew you shit up, Julian. I was just trying to help promote it, but I was right. trying to make you guys some fucking money. It's all right. Well, thank well, you, man. Decent. Now, oh, when yeah. does that come out? I can't wait to see that. Mm -hmm. it's out, I think it's already, yeah, it's I think already it's sold out. We have yeah, sold the first it. batch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I have so a have feeling a... this is going to happen again as Rob shows things to promote. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm I'm afraid now because like you. What other stuff do you got? Well, I hope you guys are aware of the fact that uh, you have SwearNet, which is your own network, and I mean you're yes. literally on it. So I should hope that you know. Yes, are we getting paid for that, that, Julian? No, I knew about that, Ricky. Swear I knew about it, but are we getting paid for that and didn't know about it? Do you get drunk every weekend because of that SwearNet stuff? Yes, you do. So, and hi. So you're getting paid. <laughs> as long as you're not get getting food. money. No, I'm not getting the money for that. Come on. Now, the concept of SwearNet is a great one where it's basically a channel where everything from the news to you guys have a show um, is just you can swear as much as you want. So even yeah. in the news, like you have this anchor, and I'm not sure how good he is as an anchor, this guy named Mike Smith. He's okay. Uh, but he swears when he handles, uh, you know, he does the news. And everybody else in every every show that you have, people are swearing and just being real. Yeah, um, it's so, a good idea. I mean, that, that's the way people talk in real life. So it's a good idea. But the people that run that network apparently are dicks. Big time. Really? Yeah. Total assholes. Oh, I've dealt with them. They're assholes. Believe me. <laughs> so if, if you're going to go, you, know, you could always go solo. You know, you could break away from them and, and start your own thing if you want. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's a good idea. As long as I mean, Julian's not in charge. Well, let me ask you this then. Have you guys seen any of the Netflix money? Rob. What, what, what mm, money? Rob, again, can we, <laughs> do we have to talk about this shit right now? What uh, Netflix just, money? You didn't <laughs> mention anything about money, Julian. It's it's back-end shit. I keep telling you that. You've right. got to, it's you told me I was this. getting sex cases of cat food. You, have you been getting it? <laughs> I got, got some cat food. I didn't get all sex cases. Who's paying your law fees? I am. I've got everything <sighs> figured out. It's like you're retired, but you're not retired. You know what I mean? Now, who? Yeah, I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> who looks at the contracts? Bubbles, you know how to read contracts. I don't even know. Julian didn't even tell me there was a contract. I like that jail. The, the contract Sorry? says his, his lot fees will be paid for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your law fees are taken care of, Bubs, and your food, everything. Gas My law fees are only six bucks a month. It's covered, yeah. though. It's it's, <laughs> it could be more. It could be two hundred bucks a month. But it's covered. I'm like a I'm like a four or five letter word reader. So contracts are a little tough because they use big fancy words. Yep. Julian said he was going to be honest about it, but now I can tell he's full of shit. Hey, listen, well, I don't. I, don't, I need to be. I need to be clear. I didn't know that there was money. I just assumed if you're going to broker yourself a deal with Netflix, I mean, you know, I know you guys don't like the cameras in your face while you're trying to live and and just have just enjoy your life. I know Ricky, you've been trying to retire for a very long time. I'm not really sure from what, but I know you're looking <laughs> to retire. So you know, well, Julian said that Netflix is a free service and that they don't make any money, so they couldn't pay us any money. But mm -hmm. I don't know much about it. Oh, There's, maybe that that is it. Ricky Netflix so make about a billion dollars a month. Uh, but they, they do have a lot of subscribers. They bring in some money, but you know we've been on there for a while. We're going to get some more money some at some time. Back end, back end. Yeah, makes sense.
Well, all right. Since we're talking about the back end, I want to I want to move over to jail for a minute because <laughs> Jesus, I, I'm quite shocked in in, in your uh, in how much you guys really seem to enjoy jail. Sometimes over being out of jail. Oh, um, I don't. They do. It well, used yeah. to be a lot better. It's starting to go to shit. Actually, like you used to be able to party your asses off, and smoke cigarettes, smoke dope, drink whatever you wanted. But now it's they're like trying to make it. I don't know. Like, it's just not fun anymore. I'm trying to have all these <laughs> it's not, rules. It's not fun. <laughs> Did you guys ever have to join a gang to protect yourselves in jail? Never. Or... Never. Now right you now. do. But no, well, back in the yeah. day, it was just everybody got along and partied and had a great time. Guards and you know whose fault and... that is? It's, it's the UFC's fault because now you get all these guys <laughs> that think you're in the UFC, that know martial arts, they're all going to jail, and they want to fight. It's not the way it used to be. That's not the way it used to be. But it is now. It's pretty fucked up. I love that jail jumped the shark. It totally <laughs> did. It's bullshit yep. now. Bunch of tough guys. A bunch of pill popping idiots. Yeah, they're not <laughs> tough. They're just a bunch of idiots. Any any altercations or fights back then? Anybody try to take your manhood, as they say, in jail or anything like that for you guys? That's no, it doesn't happen to us. But you do hear it. There is night. some of that stuff you that goes do. on. Yeah. It does happen. <laughs> Like someone like Bubbles, he does not want to go to jail unless we're there with him. I've okay. been to jail without you guys. You idiots left me there, and it's not fun. <laughs> I basically did didn't come out of my cell for about two weeks. And did anything so, happen, Bubs? No, because I was pissing in plastic bags. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Why were you just pissing in plastic bags? Well, because I wasn't leaving my cell because I was too scared, so I would just... You know, if I had to use it, I'd use it in a plastic bag and fire it out in the common area. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bubs, you always try to keep these guys on the straight and narrow. You've always, you, you. It seems like when they go to jail and they, they've gone many a time, you you feel a little lost or lonely without them. Is is what can yes. you possibly do at this point to? to kind of get them to stay straight? Have you given up on that already? I've been trying for 20 years. There's nothing I can do. I just have to, you know, try my best to keep them out of jail, but I have to, you know, pretty much assume they're going in for a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. you know, so I just try to do things when they're not around that, you know, occupy my time, like Sudoku. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sudoku. Who's that? Is that the new? Is that the new guy that moved in from Japan? No, Ricky. That's no, not him. No, Sudoku's a game that I play. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> well I mean, the good thing about jail is that the food is great. You get fed three times a day, and they kind of get you on a schedule, which is good. Hmm. I just wish it was like it used to be, and then I'd I'd want to go back more. But now I'm actually trying to stay away from jail because it's it's just not cool anymore. Yeah. That fucking Dana White ruined everything. Did he yes. ever? <laughs> yeah. Fucking asshole. <laughs> now, do you you still have the same car, Ricky? I know um, you've built uh, a structure on top of it. You've made it almost uh, a, a little deck on top of the car. It's a great car, but there's something wrong with the rear end, and it just it doesn't really drive anymore, so now it's sort of like my cottage. But it's a great car. It's got five five cigarette lighters in that car. <laughs> five <laughs> one in each door and one right on the dash it's, they don't make them like that anymore i'm just curious as to why at no point you thought about maybe getting a a bigger car or a trailer i mean take to maybe just trying to use this newfound celebrity to your advantage like the rest of them do and I, I know you're down to earth but at the same time well apparently if julian had read the contracts a little closer i'd have more money and maybe i could and then well canada legalized drugs which sort of suck for me and anybody in my profession but mm. at least they're, they're dope as shit so now i'm starting to sell a little <laughs> more and i'm hoping to get some more money and yeah maybe i can get a nice car or a van or... I, I would oh, hope so you don't need a van don't get a van you're not a van guy. i'm not a van guy maybe a station wagon but not a van guy no now there's a, one thing I noticed on Swearnet, Bubbles. I'm incredibly impressed that you give guitar lessons. Um, yes. One of the one of the perks of becoming famous in your own way is that you and this is fantastic to me. And I need to find a better image before this goes live. But you got to play with Rush. Yes. You got to play closer to the heart with the legends, Rush, 
Getty, Neil, and Alex. Yes. How did how did that come about? Well, well thanks to me. It kind of kind of was thanks to Becky. You know, because I mean that's how we initially met Alex Lifeman was, was Ricky kidnapped him and called him a male prostitute. Right. And then, you well, know, there were a lot of rumors that he was, so I don't know. I got to work for him one night and then they were doing a benefit concert and they said, Hey, Bubbles, why don't you, you know, come play? So I did. I played close to the heart with them and I was there the whole day. So, I mean, when the cameras weren't on, I got to play a whole bunch of songs with them. Mm-hmm. Played That's like, cool. you know, Cygnus X One and wow. Spear of the Radio, Red Bar Chat. I got to play all those songs with them. Did you get did you give them any advice as far as uh how you think the where they could go musically? No, I didn't, but Alex is talking about he wants to start a band with me called Rash. So I think we're <laughs> I think Rash is gonna happen, you know, it's gonna take it's, off. That's not gonna happen, Buzz. No, I still no. think it he, me. it's not going to. You got to keep telling. Stop telling people that it's not going to happen. I'm you can't. You can't sing like that Getty fella. Maybe. Can you, yeah, can you play, play bass and keyboards and sing at the same time? <laughs> well, you don't have to necessarily copy Rush. Rash could be its own its own band. Absolutely. We could just be, a, you know, more of a country trucking band, you know, mm-hmm. trucking music. Dance, dance music. <laughs> now, you guys got to go on stage with Rush, too. Uh, yep. for, a, for a concert, you guys got to go on as well. And you even brought yep. uh, Randy with you. That yes. was a bad idea. Yeah. Randy was up there humping. He was humping Alex Lyson's leg. Yeah. And he did that not smell good. Idea. No. <laughs> and, you know, he also didn't wear a shirt still. Uh, I know that's been a, a problem for a long time. You would think even. I wish Rob time. did that. I do Jim Leahy. You should have done Randy. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> that would have been Get awesome. Shirt off. I would have preferred to be the other way around, but I don't want to have. <laughs> so. <laughs> now, uh, another brush with fame that you guys had, uh, Ricky, you got to play goalie while Peter Forsberg took shots on you. Um, yeah. And, and I've, I've, I've seen the footage. Um, you know, look, you, you're going to get burned by one of the greatest uh, of well, all time. A lot time. of people don't know this, but he's a really good hockey player. <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> Although I don't know if your equipment was really up to up to speed, no, so you can, he, you can blame it on that. He's got a hell of a shot. And you get, mm-hmm. you get sort of – fixated on his his eyes he's got like these wolf polar bear <laughs> eyes and you know you're looking at him and then all of a sudden you're distracted and then he shoots while you're distracted and he scores every goddamn time so right i mean you did just have couch pillows for for pads so you know i know Bubba yeah was it wasn't to... ideal but... no it's certainly yeah, if i had proper equipment now what about uh you also got to meet snoop dogg who actually came julian to your to your establishment, um, you know, yeah. for those of you don't, who don't know, you know, I mentioned Julian's an entrepreneur. Not only anybody could have opened a gym, anybody could have opened a bar, anybody could have opened a strip club, anybody could have opened a casino. Julian opened all of them at the same time. Yeah, to, that's the way to, to do we, it. You know, you people know, were, people like people like to work out and have a few drinks and <laughs> then watch ladies get naked. I guess I, mm-hmm. I think it was a great idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the, I mean, he, we did he can have, smoke. We he did have ladies night there as well. I mean, Randy, he was he was stripping there for a little while as well. So you know, I like to cater to everybody. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Money's money. Money money knows no uh, knows no gender. So wh- when you guys hung out with Snoop, like, do you, have you been in touch since, or he never got back to you after you left? No, we no, his, he, uh, he still talks to Bubbles a little bit, but yeah. He was mad at me because I outsmoked him, and he just mm-hmm. he's pissed off. Yeah, and I wasted fifteen grand of his, so I don't know if he's going to talk to me <laughs> again. But I don't know, maybe. So, Bob, you still talk, you still talk to him? Yes, I mean, you know, he gave me that great big, great big stereo, and I, you know, sometimes call him when I don't know how to work the EQ just right, mm-hmm. and I call him up, and he tells me what frequencies dial in for what songs mm-hmm. so that's you know <laughs> pretty good now 
there's something that we do with our guests sometimes, and we do this with the, the more famous ones. And I thought for you guys, this would be perfect. I don't know if you're familiar with an American show called Inside the Actor's Studio, where an actor. Yeah, man. Where James yeah, Lipton. We, yo, you time. watch it, you, you get it there. Okay, great. So we have our own version of it. It's more of a crass version of those questions that he asks at the end. And, oh, yeah. uh, and I think Uh-oh. we could go, I think I'd like to go through those with you um, because these are all things that we've talked about on our show over the years and we've incorporated them in. So if you guys would like to be in our actor studio, we'd love to go through some questions. Yeah, now. man, let's do it. Uh, all right. I'm, gonna, cool. I'm even going to play the song. That's the level that I'm taking this to. Get into right. the scene. I'll do my best, James Lipton here. The questionnaire embedded by the great Christopher Fortney. <laughs> Trello Park boys, are you gentlemen ready? Bring it on, Lipton. All right, I'm going to start. Was he the same guy that made the soup? <laughs> the soup? No, different guy. Different guy, Ricky. Different Lipton, Ricky. No, he's an acting teacher. But okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with you. Bubbles, are you circumcised? Jesus yes. Murphy. We're not here to fuck around. That's a oh. Who said that? Maybe um We've all how seen would it. I describe it. Yes, it went it went off without a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what about you, Julian? Circumcised? Jesus Christ. Well yeah, I mean, yeah. Half the people in prison know that I am. Yes. <laughs> what does that mean? You take yeah. don't, you, you don't take showers. I do, Bubs. Okay. Do you bring the drink in the shower? Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, I figured that. <laughs> and Ricky? I would say half. All right. Half and late in life. <laughs> so just half a half. It was a bit of an injury. All right. just, just the left. Next, Ricky so- caught his wiener in the kitchen drawer and pulled the end off it. <laughs> circumcision is circumcision. <laughs> That's right. All right, Ricky. What is your favorite drug? Favorite drunk? Drug. Oh, drug. I'd have to go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with hash. No, yeah. I'm gonna agree with you on that one. <laughs> yeah. All right, bubbles. Favorite drug? The honey oil is pretty good too, though. What is? Honey oil, but I like hash. Yeah, I would have to say hash. I don't smoke nearly as much as these guys, but when I do, I like the, you know, the hash, but not the temple ball or whatever it's called. Even yeah, like in the, the edibles too, the, the gummies. Well, a little nibble is not too bad. <laughs> Julian, what about you? I'm a hash guy, but I'm liking the edibles these days. They're easy, you know, better in your lungs. I'm, mm-hmm. I'd say had edibles. Steep yep, the gun. The sativa gun, you know. You ever it's take good. too? You ever take too many? Because one thing with the edibles is you can't control the amount. Oh man, yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. bad oh. news. Well, we were yeah, fucked for two days. Edibles in all kinds of we, you know, supper, pizza, anything. You got to watch yourself around Ricky. You take too many edibles, you wake up with like two less lighters in your car. I'm down to three lighters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how that happened. Or can't half find a any circumcision. <laughs> okay. He's laying, laying with a body stone. It sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm starting with you on this one, Julian. If you could sleep with anyone in the world, who would it be? Oh, oh man, this is a tough one. Randy. Yeah. Randy? No, no, no. no. Like, could it can it be like anybody that's like dead now? Or yes, you know, it can be. Oh, it, any shit. anyone in the Bob Marley. Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> Farrah Fawcett's a good pull. That's yeah. nice. I used to have that poster, you know, in the red bathing suit when yep. I was younger. Damn. <laughs> didn't she go? She went a little squirrely, though, didn't she? Who, I don't care. Who cares? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Bubbles, what about you? Oh, Jesus, Murphy. I don't know. Um, that's a tough one. I don't really even think about that type of thing. Okay, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. That's fine. What I about you, Rick? I really, you know, I have to think about that. You know, it's too busy with the kitties. Yes, maybe a Amelia Earhart. Wow. There we go. That's a good one. Wow. wow. Who the hell is that? Well, she's just so cool, you know, flying an airplane around the world. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, like minus the crashing part, she was pretty awesome. <laughs> and that was like a little go kart with wings. That's a little tiny. Uh, yes, it was a nice plane. What about you, Ricky? Man, that's a tough one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give that some thought. I don't know. All right, we can come back. When, to when I was younger, I used to like that the, the tail, tail Leone guy. Oh, tail Leone. Leone. Yeah. I feel like you guys would have went Pam Anderson, just like the Canadian thing. No. Yeah, she's. Yeah. I don't know. She's a little crazy. All right, these are gonna get uh, a little high maintenance for the park. Yeah. What, I'm no these... Tommy Lee. <laughs> well, I would have liked to have gone on a date with Marilyn Monroe. He's got, he's got a huge wang, so it'd be tough mm -hmm. to follow that up. <laughs> Bubbles, where would you take uh, Marilyn Monroe? You said you'd take her on a date? I'd like to take Marilyn Monroe on a date. That would be pretty fun. Where'd you take her? Where would you go? Well, it depends on what era we were in. If we were back in her era, I would take her to a, you know, like a Mel's drive-in in a convertible Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> nice. See, he's got class. That's why I like Bubbles. He's got a lot of class. Um, and, and this next question is going to ruin it, but I'm going to start with you on this one, Bubs. Have you ever tried to suck your own penis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Who told you that? I'm just asking. No one told me anything. Have you ever that's tried? That's not how I injured my back, if that's what you're insinuating. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean no disrespect with these questions. We're just trying to get to know you better, Bubbles. We heard no? some stuff from the jail. <laughs> I have I have not attempted that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair no. enough. Julian. Absolutely not. I mean, I can't even touch my toes, so that's a no. <laughs> and if I well, could, you... I don't think I'd want it in my mouth anyway. That's, you know. <laughs> okay. Fair yeah. enough. Ricky, you're, you're awfully quiet and straight faced. I'm curious what your answer well, is going to be. I, I don't know if I should be honest or dishonest, but be honest. I, honest. I, there was one time it was not intentional, but <laughs> I was driving <laughs> with this beautiful young lady, and some things were happening, and I ended up getting in a bad car accident. And from the impact, I ended up down in that region, and I was naked, so hmm. I didn't actually go to the that level but i could have all right was your wiener in your mouth ricky it was man it Don't was kind lying. of brushing against my cheek and, uh, the inside of your cheek yeah it went in there you told <laughs> me one that, night sorry that that no might comment. be how the circumcision happened <laughs> could be. yeah exactly how did i never hear Jeez. about the story you're, you're good car accident Jeez. you're all wiener Lori right? is good <laughs> What, what did you say, Bubbles? I said, I don't know how. I've known Ricky, you know, 30, 40 years, and I never heard the story of you having a car accident in your own wiener and in your mouth. It's not something you brag about, Bubs. Well, <laughs> Jesus, Murphy. Well, that's going to bring me to uh, my last two questions. Also, the next one is something you might not want to brag about, but I'm going to start with Ricky on this one. Have you ever oh, had God. a finger in the butt during sex? Have I ever had, sorry? A finger in your butt during sex. His oh, own? Many times. Many His times. own? Oh, not my own, no. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I have to say it was a little freaky, but then you're like, yeah, it's not so bad. <laughs> All right. Julian? No, man. No, no, I haven't. Bullshit. I had a finger on my ass. I had a finger on my ass. No. I don't think so. Not that I can remember anyway. With the strippers Maybe. and stuff you've been with? Bullshit. All right, maybe. <laughs> That's a maybe. It's it's not it's not gay if it's, if a stripper does it. Oh, I know. It's just it's uncomfortable. I think I don't know. Mm -hmm. I would I would say you've had more than fingers up there. Oh, come on, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Bubs, what about you? Um, I've done all kinds of stuff. Believe me, I don't like to brag about it, but you know. All kinds of different things have gone on like that with me, I believe. All right. I don't want to press. I want to respect your privacy, Bubs. Yeah. Well, this brings us to the last one. And I'll start with Julian on this one because Julian, as a, as a bodybuilder, you are quite the ladies' man. So I think this one's going to really apply to you. What is the strangest place that you've ever had sex? Oh, man. Strangest place? Um, it's 
been in a, a the a train, I guess. All right. The train. That's a pretty good one. Was it yeah. moving? It was moving. Yep. Yeah. Actually, it was a subway. That's what they called. It was in it was oh, in New York. Oh, oh wow! New York so subway. You... That's why you didn't get COVID. You're going to be immune to everything if you take your penis out in the New York City subway. Yeah, I know. I, it was. Yeah, it was. It was something else. It's the ultimate vaccination to be naked on the exactly. Side. <laughs> All right. What about you, Ricky? I There's been a lot of weird places over the years, but mm-hmm. one of the yeah, principal's office bathroom. Second time I did grade eleven. That was a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> got caught. That sucked. The uh, second time. Oh, you got caught. The principal walked in. No. the Secretary, <laughs> I got suspended for that one. Sorry, it wasn't even my it. fault. I was, yeah, you know, I was attacked. All right. And what about you, Bubs? Um, I Joe, you name it, you name it. Yeah, I, I think probably... I feel like I feel like Bubbles is a freak on the low. I think out of, out of you guys, I think I think he keeps it quiet. But you know, you you almost too upset. When Julian started renting out your sheds to the horse, you almost seemed too upset. Like it's you well, were no, because I knew what was going to happen, and sure enough, all my cats caught crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man, it's not my oh, fault. Ricky, I didn't... Ricky, your your craziest place wasn't the. It was the Kentucky Fried Chicken Bucket. Up in oh the yeah, line in the big bucket that was the sign. Remember? You forgot about yeah, that. I totally blacked that out. I did forget about that. <laughs> yeah. That was a weird night. <laughs> a lot of mushrooms. Well, I mean, I can't see how people are not going to swearnet.com right now to subscribe to this. You get a look at these guys' lives. They uh, op- open a camera to themselves. They could have easily just been uh, highfalutin celebrities, moved to fancy areas, but they've kept it real and they bring you guys in. Go to swearnet.com, subscribe. It's only a dollar ninety nine a month, and there's yes, tons, you can get tons. the app too. Just go get the app, Swearnet Trailer Park Boys app. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep, the app is great too. You can also follow the guys. Uh, they've somehow figured out social media on Twitter, Trailer <laughs> Park Boys, and on Instagram, Trailer Park Boys Official. Uh, you can keep up to date with all of the great projects that Julian is working on for them on their behalf. Yeah. So. So right on. Man. We're gonna be on the tech talk too, I think. Oh really? Oh yeah. Are you gonna yeah. do some of the dances, Bubbles? I'm I love the tech talk. I'm gonna do all the current dances. That'd be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, is, me it, too. is it set up is it set up already? You have to do it with the drink though, Julie. Yeah, yeah. Yes. totally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so very much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Once again, I want everybody to go to swearnet.com and congratulations on 20 years of a camera in your face that you didn't want. We're very, very glad that we got that opportunity to watch you guys. So congratulations. Right thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. you guys. It's great guys. talking to you guys. Uh, thank all right. You. Hang on one second. I'll be right back, guys. Thank you for okay. listening to The Whole. I am Rob Sprance. I'm Laura Levine. Later, motherfuckers.